Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look back again at Battlefield 6 on Arc GPU since now the game is released and also Intel have released a driver for Battlefield 6 in the driver 8136. So we're going to see at, uh, how much better it is now playable with Intel graphics, at what setting you should play to be at least 60 FPS and what resolution on each. Welcome to Response PC, I'm Dunk, let's game on. So in this testing, I didn't include the A730 mobile and the A550 mobile. For the desktop, I didn't include the A310. I was able to play at 1440p for most of them and the rest was at 1080p. XCSS was enabled all the time at native and going to the lower hand, XCSS dropped to ultra quality plus and balance. The system used was Windows 11 with the i5 12600K and 32 GB of DDR4 at 3600 MHz. Starting off with the top of the line of uh, Arc GPU, the B580 with 12GB of VRAM was able to play at 1440p, high settings, XCSS native, and I get a really nice, uh, hold yourself, uh, clench everything that can be clenched, 69 FPS, nice. With the GPU peg at 99%, uh, using 9.3GB of VRAM, CPU in the 80s, a bit high, but good enough, and using 17.1GB of RAM. The gameplay is super smooth, no stutter whatsoever. And if we look back at the beta test I did with the B580, we were at 1080p and barely getting 60 FPS at high settings. We are now at 1440p. This is a big improvement compared to the beta testing. Next up, it will be the only other battle mage on the market, the Arc Intel Battle Mage B570. This is a 10 GB VRAM card. And since I had so much good results with the B580, this is footage at 1440p also with the i presets and XCSS AA or native XCSS. But we don't make the cut for 60 FPS. You will have to drop the settings to medium with XCSS native to be able to cut it out to the 60 FPS threshold to play an FPS. So at 1440p i settings XCSS AA, we get 57 FPS average, just under 60. But if you drop to medium settings with XCSS AA, we get 65 FPS average. That means you still drop sometimes in the i 50s. Other option that will give you a similar result, still at 1440p i settings, but XCSS Ultra Quality Plus to get in the mid 60s FPS average. Next up, we have the best of the first gen of Intel Arc GPU, the Intel Arc Alchemist A770 LE, 16 gigabyte variant. And because we get uh, so much good result with the B series at 1440p, and the A770 LE should also be a 1440p GPU, we stay at 1440p. We stay at medium settings like the B570 with XCSS native. And the results are extremely close to the B570. We are at 63 FPS with those settings, and all the other settings are quite similar to the 2-3 FPS over or under of the B570. So 63 FPS, uh, it's quite decent. The GPU peg at 99%, utilization 8.6 GB of VRAM utilization, CPU in the mid 50s, and 14 GB of uh, RAM. Frame time frame graph, uh, super smooth. And in the beta, I was getting 58 FPS at 1080p medium settings and XCSS quality. So I don't know if it's the game release, the optimize or the driver that the Intel came out with made the game extremely playable with Intel Arc, but it's a good news for Intel Arc user. Next up, we have the little brother of the A770 LE 16GB, the A778 gigabyte of VRAM. You know, the one uh, little brother that came right after your twin brother, but you will forever still be the little brother because you a couple minutes later. That's the A770 8GB variant. Still at 1440p, medium settings. Try to keep up with the big brother 16GB uh, VRAM, but the, CP, the GPU even peg at 99%, we are using 8.3 GB of VRAM. This is a 8 GB VRAM card, meaning we go fetch some memory in the RAM of the system, slower memory. So we don't get exactly 60 FPS, we are at 59 FPS. Frame time frame graph was a uh, super smooth, so you can keep it like this if you wanted. Otherwise, you need to have to drop uh, the settings to low or XCSS uh, Ultra Quality Plus or Ultra Quality. But still, you're playing a 1440p game with the 8GB VRAM card. 
Next up, uh, we have the A750. This is an 8GB VRAM card, like is a big brother, but not so big, the A770 8GB. We're still playing at 1440p, but this time we are at low settings and XDSS AA native, because higher than that seems to be too hard for 8GB uh, VRAM card. But at low settings, it's another story. GPU peg at 99%, using 6.5 to 7GB of VRAM out of 8, so we perfectly under the 8GB uh, max of this GPU, using 13 gigabyte of RAM and the frame graph of frame time is super smooth and no stuttering. Perfect to play first person shooter. You can probably keep the settings at medium but drop XCSS to ultra quality or maybe even balance. Your eyes, your choice. Now to one still of my favorite Intel Arc GPU, the A580 with 8 gigabyte VRAM. Perfect for the low budget build, we can play at 1440p with this card. Yes, at a low settings and yes, at XCSS Ultra Quality Plus. But that's not too bad, as we reach 62 FPS. GPU peg at 99%, using 6.3 GB of VRAM, and the gameplay is super smooth. I highly doubt anyone will play at 1440p with the A580, because if you are on a budget build with this budget card, you're going to play at 1080p, which is the next slide. But at 1440p, for this kind of a GPU, that was quite uh, surprising. I just wanted to try my luck with the A580 at 1440p, and apparently you can. So since the A580 is more 1080p card than a 1440p with its 8GB of RAM and less power to the core of the GPU, we can pump up the settings to medium and back at XCSS to AA native and get over 60 FPS. We are actually at 71 FPS at 1080p with the GPU peg at 99% using 7.6GB of RAM out of 8. CPU wise, uh, nothing to complain, using 12.4GB of uh, RAM. Game is super smooth. Frame time frame graph is nothing to complain about. And you remember from my Battlefield 6 on Arc GPU with the A580, we were at 1080p low settings with XCSS balanced to get over 80 FPS. Now we're at medium and XCSS native and we still quite close at 71 FPS. And finally for this video, the A380. This is a 6 GB VRAM GPU. We're playing at 1080p, obviously. Lowest settings and drop XCSS to balance to have some playable experience. With the GPU peg at 99% using 5.5 GB of VRAM out of 6. So we just under the 6 GB available for this GPU. We get an average of 48, 55, 70. Depending on where you are, the FPS vary a lot. That will give us an average of 51 FPS. It's still playable because it's quite smooth. I didn't encounter any AV stutter. But if you want your 60 FPS, absolutely, you better drop XCSS from balance to performance. There you will get it. Was it a playable experience? Yes. Will I compete with the GPU? No. So what did we learn? Is the release of Battlefield 6 was well optimized by the dev, that Intel worked really hard to put out the driver to support uh, Battlefield 6, and it works so well that we can play way higher, more stable, with better FPS. I hope that answered the question of people that uh, was comparing the beta play test and the actual release on Intel Arc with Battlefield 6. Thanks to everyone watching, see you in the next one, and subscribe.